come out. Too. Yeah, great. my housekeeper looked at it the other day and said, I got to find out Doc Martin. I said, because you're about to wear them out. I said, well, I'm going to wear them until they fall off. That's, they look great, man. <laughs> Yeah. Let me get, a, get them on here for everybody to see. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, I am here. I have the absolute pleasure of being with Mr. Buddy Guy again and um, my good friend Tom Hammers, the Hammer. And you guys have had a busy year. It's already April, and I feel like I've been around the world three times with you guys with Living Proof. And first of all, congratulations on the Grammy. Um, well, thank you very much. You, uh, you owe all the credit to him. Yes. You know, they kept telling me. Uh, actually, uh, I'm, I may just do it again, Tom. You know, I, I had that, uh, they had a monitor on me when I was recording that. That's I just, right. I was interviewed with somebody, and every time I had that, they thought I had uh, something wrong with my heart, and I was trying to get out of recording, and they kept saying... <laughs> we postponed it a couple yeah, times, right? Yeah, and yeah. so every time I would try to play a good solo, it would come around and start knocking, and it's two pieces. <laughs> So if I left one too far from the monitor, all of a sudden, right in the middle of one of the cuts, it would start making noise. I said, hold it, I gotta go put the monitor back up. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it couldn't, it couldn't have come at a better time. Skin Deep was such a phenomenal success, but you guys just, you did it again with Living Proof, man. It was just, um, as a fan, I have to tell, it was exceptional. And then you brought in this young guy, King, uh, He's some guitar player, I don't know, some guy you work with in Las Vegas, BB somebody. Oh, BB King, yeah. yeah the, what's his, uh, <laughs> what's, tell me about that, guys. You, you guys did a duet. Yeah, you know, I think Tom came up with that. You know, uh, we did we did the uh, spiritual cut on Stay that. Stay around a little longer, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and uh, who could fit it even better than him? Because, you know, he did a spiritual song a long time ago. I forget the name of it, but I would hear it on a spiritual station every once in a while. Because you remember he kept saying if we, that line he sang about, he put me here to sing the blues. He, right. he wanted to take the blues out. Because some spiritual stations still play that. Uh, I got wow. one in Chicago, but if you say blues, they probably don't want to play it there. So it's a religious, uh, religious type thing, which is I, I disagree with. But and uh, he's trying to get us to take it out, but it was a little too late then. And uh, but who else could you pick to uh, uh, come in and do it, man? Because he almost had me crying when he come to the part about uh, when he's pushing up days that I'm still his buddy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I heard you say you're my buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. still my yeah. buddy. Yeah, these two guys. I mean, they they just were chemistry of them together. Yeah. They're man. two kings, you know. Mm -hmm. Literally. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Thank you, Tom, but yeah, he's man. the one, man. You know, yeah. he's, he's, uh, he did it all. He, he, we, every guitar player now, now I know the one still will look with us and some of them is still not. It's, uh, it's something he did that we still playing or trying to learn how to play like him because I don't think nobody can vibrate that left hand like he do. And by the way, when we was making the video, as long as I've been knowing him, I ain't never known him to just come up and say, I, John Lee Hooker didn't, didn't have no calluses. See, the end of my fingers now feel like a, a, a steel wool. <laughs> and he looks at me and he said, I don't have calluses, buddy. I said, and you don't, and he play more than I do. You know, I mean, he don't miss a night or nothing. I'm saying, now, we got some dates coming up in the next month or so. I'm going to ask him, what do he do to... Uh, he just had, so fast, the callus can't catch up. I don't so, know. I don't know what that is, but even the faster I move, the more I get on mine, you know, so I don't know what he do. I know John Lee Hooker made me shake his hand once, and he was laughing, saying, I don't have calluses. I said, you kidding me, you know. <laughs> Showing up his hand felt like a lady, you know, and I'm like, gee, how do you got Well, the record sounded great, and the Thank video you. I thought was really, really touching, too, to see you guys together. The mutual respect was just huge. Thank you so much. Well, you still got to give all the credit for this guy, man. You know, I He's so we had met. Well, I had met Tom, and I didn't know that was in him. You know, you are, sometimes you and me, I just like a woman. I I don't jump. Even when I was a youngster, right now at a woman, if she come after me, I have to wait and see <laughs> what yeah. you coming after me would. You know, God. and Tom and I was just, and every time he pick up his pen and he just dropped down to something a few minutes ago we were talking and I say, well, you know, I don't know, it's something about him, you know, I, 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 I don't know what it is, but whatever it is,
It just kept coming. It's working, and we got a chance. At first they were saying, ah, he ain't never produced nothing before. And I thought about myself more and more then because I had never <laughs> produced it anything <laughs> before. So well, this, this, this well I, had, I had produced three Grammy records before yeah, that, before right. I met But he didn't know I, right. and, and, and the guy at his label. Yeah, I didn't know that, but, but uh, so it was like I mentioned it on stage now some time ago. When I left the farm, I learned how to drive a tractor. Well, the guy on the farm didn't ask me that I did I have an experience because he saw it. But when I went into Baton Rouge looking for a job, every time I went in and asked for a job, they asked you, do you have an experience? I don't care if it was digging dirt. Mm -hmm. So how in the hell do you get experience at nine years old? So I said, I just started cursing. I said, well, that's what I'm trying to do, get experience. That's the same thing I feel about him. You know, you got to give that. I didn't know he had the uh, uh, Grammy records already and uh, a record company. I just, you know, I just don't like for them to say, well, you need somebody who already is established with whatever they're doing. How's the next guy, how's the next ball player going to be good if you don't let him go out there and play? Right. You know? Well, thank yeah. God you well, did. it was an honor to produce, of course, this. I mean, this has just been unbelievable. This is you guys are good. You're good. But he's this better than I thought he was. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration, man. Inspiration, yeah, takes, man. It, man. Inspiration I mean, takes it up another notch. Well, after I got to know him and got in the studio, I said, well, maybe I should have had him around there with the late Willie Dixon because a lot of times I've been in the studio not even recording me. They use me as a side man a lot. And it was always, to me, like they was teaching me how to play as I'm recording. And that's not the time I want to get a lesson when I'm recording. I want to give you what I already know when right. I'm recording. And working with him, I, I was just footloose in France, fancy free. I'm like that's saying, great. this is why I should have been all of my time. Maybe I would have had a record pretty good record a long time ago but I was a great well, I mean the I key is just to, to capture he has all the all the emotions going whether it's you know attack mode you know sensitive in your face over the top energy uh, anything he's got it all in his playing and his singing and really you just need to frame it you know what I mean? And let it, like, it's like letting the great actor just act. Yeah. And record it and capture it, man, you know, and uh, then you got lightning in a bottle, you know? Literally. Yeah. Speaking of lightning in a bottle, there's a young man that you guys are um, collaborating, working with, um, named Quinn Sullivan, whom I had a chance to hear play not too long ago. And I don't know, I'm hearing some pretty cool lightning coming out of that kid's Stratocaster, man. It's, what, can you tell me what it's like working with Quinn? You know, at the age he is now, I met him when he was just about to turn seven, and I, I couldn't believe someone that young could play as well as he can. And each and every night now at 12, he come out, I'm like saying, what is he doing now? You know, and I'm like saying, I, it's unbelievable, because I, you know, I've been 12 myself, and I couldn't even play a radio at 12 years old. <laughs> and, and I've seen other kids come to the state. Matter of fact, one came in Canada and that, and he was so nervous he couldn't even, he could hear, because I offered him a guitar. He says, his dad said, wait. I said, well, you better watch Quinn then. Yeah. So Quinn has got me, can't, can't even explain how good he is. I just, the best thing I can tell you, is just go get you a seat out there tonight. Mm -hmm and then come ask me a question and then you can answer the question Excellent. for me because he's amazing man you know i can't i couldn't wait to see if somebody wait too late which should happen to me and say i wish i had caught him when he was 10 11 12 years old then he's 26 or 27. Sure. i want somebody to see him now so i got tom and max and we got together and said don't nobody record them let's try it ourselves and see yeah. can we let somebody know who he is and then that might give him a break to go big and fun cyclone i think is the yeah. name of the record yes yeah cool. well may the force be you got to give tom that credit too because i wasn't even there man they was doing that 
I just right. recommend it, man. Y'all got to get y'all got to cut something on this kid. That's awesome. We had a chance. Plus, he can sing. Yeah, you know, I yeah. actually heard him warming up. Yeah, right. man. He's, he's got a vocal coach. Don't he's miss the set stuff. now. You I can know. talk to me and Tom anytime, right. but don't miss yes, him. Yes, sir. Well, I'm gonna fly, <laughs> gentlemen. Thank you both. God That's bless great. you for keeping up your work, man. As a fan, I love it, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you very thank much. You. All right, man.